Hi, I'm Joe D. I'm Executive Creative Director at McCann World Group Philippines. It's been subdued the past couple of days, I think. But today, um, when I walked in, I, uh, I think there was more energy. Um, the the work that's been um, showcased um, has been pretty impressive for the region. Uh, a lot of it was seen at Cannes and Clio and the other award shows. Um, so it's good that they're finally they're getting a chance to be celebrated here um, in um, our neck of the woods as well. I managed. I was able to attend up, um, a couple of really good talks. Um, I, I think the talks that interested me the most were the ones that uh, spoke more about the trends in terms of thinking and ideas. There are a lot of technique talks about technique as well, uh, from technology and technique, um, and, and I'm sure they're quite available online. They, they were very engaging, but the talks that, that engaged me the most were the ones um, that showcased new forms of um, strategy in approaching um, the problems we're facing. So. First off, on the entries, I think um, I'm keeping my expectations um, well, modest, I think, for the show. I think uh, we're quite happy with um, how the work has performed in Cannes and in Clio. Um, just the other night, I think, they had the Clio ceremonies where, I'm just going to plug it here, uh, McCann was the number two network. <laughs> uh, McCann World Group was the number two network on the strength of our, um, our network, Spiritus Girl, and um, entry. And, the India's immunity charm bracelet. So, I plug it in there. Yes. <laughs> and but uh, but but in all in all honesty, I think um, radio very still remains very relevant um, in the Philippines. Um, we were actually just uh, looking at the numbers back home uh, earlier this year, and while everybody, while we all know that um, social, particularly and digital, are very very. Um, uh, integrated into our lives um, as Filipinos, uh, radio remains the number one um, channel as far as re uh, reach is concerned in the Philippines because there's a lot of a lot of um, areas that, well, let's face it, I'm not um, quite up to speed when it comes to um, digital uh, in the region. Uh, so radio is still very very relevant. Um, all this not as, as as popular as it uh, used to be. Uh, I think historically the Philippines has actually been um, very um, competitive when it comes to radio. Um, we know we don't quite have, um, we don't always have the technology um, to compete with um, in terms of with some of the other uh, more advanced countries when it comes to uh, let's say digital and some of the output. Which is not to say we can't, but we do have ideas and we have performed well. But um, with radio, I think um, because of its uh, the simplicity of the the medium, it allows us to to, to compete at a more level playing field. If I feel what am I saying? Um, I think uh, the, it's the only medium where the Philippines has two. The country has two gold lions, um, the first one and, and the more recent one, and uh, that I think puts us in a better position. Um, our production houses, actually, um, our production partners back home, uh, I would venture to say are qualified to be called world class already. They do get um, work from overseas as well. Uh, they hit productions and loud box in particular and sound design as well. They all get, um, uh, they've all won um, for, uh, they've all won overseas as well. So you know that we have the capability. Um, and, I, and with radio, it's just really you and the idea and the craftsmanship. So it allows you to um, to really showcase what you can do. So the radios we did for uh, Fuller Book and for Nestle um, were done over the span of things last year and early this year, um, two separate briefs. Um, it was quite a challenge. Um, the clients for Fuller Book were actually quite um, very, were, were very, um, demanding when it comes to quality because of course they are um, the uh, yeah they are pretty much one of the, the top bookstores in the Philippines book chains in the Philippines um, so we actually have to revise that script over and over again uh, and, not a, and, and for Nestle uh, we, we had a very collaborative group of clients um, they were with us from day one all the way through until um, the final material was aired so they were very much uh, involved with the process. Uh, the the work um, 
we've been fortunate that it did very well at can and in Clio, uh, at Clio, and so um, we're optimistic um, for um, for spikes as well. Um, maybe it picks up a few metals here and there, uh, but I think um, it's been a I think it's been a good year for for those pieces in particular. I think there will always be a there will always be a place and space for tradition. Everybody keeps saying that traditional media dies, but if you look around, they've been saying that for ages. And if you just walk outside, we still have posters. Um, everywhere and they just take a different role um, and I think the same goes with radio we will still there will always be a place for traditional radio and I think um, it shouldn't be dismissed however um, there are innovations and there are new ways of experiencing audio in particular not just radio which I think is where um, um, the meat where it gets a little bit uh, fresher I guess more exciting um, so not to I think uh, there will be a place for traditional radio but if you look at like one of our entries um, I don't know how well it will do but one of our entries was actually geared specifically towards um, Spotify um, users um, I think um, usage in the Philippines and as far as Spotify is concerned is and uh, well all your streaming um, is concerned is, um, is on the rise uh, and uh, so behavior um, a little bit different but that's I guess where you get that's a playground it's a new playground you get to play in uh, so there will be a place there uh, I think it's gonna it's always gonna be there are always gonna be opportunities to reinvent um, within the audio radio and audio medium uh, for uh, for our brands and for um, for agencies and, uh,